Hey guys, it's Chris. From creatures under the sea to realistic looking birds, join me as we discuss 10 amazing animal robots. Number 10, Crabster. Designed by the Korean Institute of Ocean Science and Technology, the Crabster robot is one that's built to imitate and replicate the way crabs and lobsters move in the ocean. While this may not seem like a major deal in terms of robotics, it has more uses than you'd think. After all, many species of crab and lobster are able to work and live in areas of the ocean that most humans themselves cannot move in because of dangerous currents or terrain. So using this robot to imitate what they can do can help humanity better explore the ocean, of which we've only mapped 5%. Its legs and body movements are the key to helping it survive in dangerous waters, and many versions of the Crabster have been made since the initial model including being used in tests underwater for excavation of artifacts and treasures. The Crabster CR200 is actually the world's largest underwater robot at a massive 1,400 pounds. And with its 11 cameras, it can see through pretty much any water out there. The Institute can have it go nearly 700 feet below the surface and feel it could be useful in many fields even outside of recovery. Number 9. Handle the Ostrich Robot in the animal kingdom, the ostrich is the fastest bird on Earth in terms of running, and clearly it's not flying, but it can get up to 43 miles per hour and even change direction on a dime. To that end, multiple teams of people have worked on robots that mirror the way the ostrich not only runs, but balances itself so it can perform tasks quickly. First up is a recent addition to the team at Boston Dynamics. They made an ostrich bot of sorts called Handle. Handle balances itself in regard to its robot legs via a style that's reminiscent of how an ostrich legs look. It has backward bending knees and has a single arm mounted on top making it look like a long neck. Its purpose is to stack boxes on a pallet while avoiding obstacles and getting to where it needs to go. Another ostrich robot was built by a team at Florida Institute for Human and Machine Cognition. They built an ostrich robot that was able to run just like an ostrich, though not as fast. It only did 12 miles per hour when it was first built. But the catch was that it didn't take much power to run. It only needed as much as an RC car, and it was able to adjust itself on a treadmill when speeds were increased and decreased. It's really impressive. Number 8. Miro Standing for marine intelligence robot, the Miro is a robot fish that mimics what fish can do in many ways including how they swim in any direction, avoid obstacles that are in its way, and more. The RoboFish was built by Aero Inc., a company in South Korea, and they used two kinds of motors and a slew of distance measuring software to try to make sure that Miro captures the lifelike movements of the fish it's based off of. What's more, this isn't just a basic robot fish. It can go pretty deep into the waters of the world itself, up to 160 feet at last measurement, and likely more with recent new models. But while many robot animals go for function over form, the team and Arrow have gone the extra mile by making it so these fish are luminescent. They can come in several different colors, and now you can buy a Miro for yourself in the size that you desire. They're even working on ways to make custom Miro in terms of what kind of fish you want. Number 7. Cram when it comes to insects, few are as reviled as the cockroach, mainly because they're seen as one of the most disgusting and hard-to-kill bugs on Earth. However, when it comes to making a robot at the University of California, Berkeley, they saw the cockroach as a marvel of nature, mainly because it, like certain other insects, could compress its body in such a way that they can actually fit into cracks in small areas that they theoretically shouldn't have been able to get down to. To that end, University of California, Berkeley made a mini robot called Cram, a plastic robot that was meant to mimic how cockroaches can get into cracks and yet still move at very high speeds. The Cram can fit in the palm of your hand and has a plastic jointed shell that allows it to move around and fit itself into cracks just like a cockroach. Should future models prove useful, these robots can actually be used for search and rescue missions, as they'll be a kind of recon unit that can search areas that humans can't get to without great difficulty. Number 6. Robird what makes the field of robotics so interesting is that they can help all sorts of people with problems that humans can't fix themselves. For example, at airports, 
airports. Birds have a nasty habit of getting into the flight path of airplanes. And as you probably know, if a bird was to crash into the engine of a plane, it could destroy it and potentially take the plane down. The team at Clear Flight Solutions came up with a very simple solution to this problem. A robot falcon, also called Robird. Now, unlike certain other robotic creations based on animals, the Robird is truly designed to not just fly like a falcon or other birds, but to actually also look like them. The logic is that if these birds are patrolling airports, they'll make sure other birds don't get in the way. Birds instinctively react to the presence of birds of prey, making it less attractive for them to come to that area, said one engineer. The Robird actually works off satellite locations in terms of its flight, and if it loses satellite connection, it'll return home to ensure it's not lost. So it's not only a falcon, it's also kind of a homing pigeon. Number five, Plurobot. In terms of engineering, the Plurobot is definitely one of the more advanced animal robots in the world today. Mainly because the team at EPFL, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, not only modeled this particular robot after a salamander, they actually used x-rays of the creature and x-rayed videos of the creature moving through land and water to make a robot that moves exactly like a salamander. They even noted that they tracked 64 points of movement on the salamander's spine so they could mimic its movement. But why? Why go to such great lengths to monitor a salamander in order to make a realistic robot version of it? According to the team, they have great potential in regard to learning more about how the spine works and ways to make it better via spinal therapy to those in need. It's also said that this robot could help shine a light on animal evolution via how the salamander learned to move in such a unique way. Number 4. T8X if you're the kind of person who wants an animal robot for themselves, like I kind of do, and possibly you want to creep out anyone who doesn't like a spider, the T8X is the robot you would want to get. This robot, as stated by the team at Robugtix, is made to look like a spider and also move like a spider. Complete with eight legs, a spider-like body and shell, and grossly, you can even choose whether you want a hairy spider or a smooth-legged spider. <laughs> Within this spider are 26 separate motors that control its body, give it its spider-like movement. Though to be clear, it can't climb up walls or hang from ceilings like regular spiders. But it is a good look-alike of one. And if you're so inclined and you got the money, you can get your own T8X for almost $1,000. Number 3. Sloth Bots the sloth in the animal kingdom is known for its slowness. It barely moves, and when it does, it's very slow. So you would think that a robot modeled after this would be kind of useless. But for two different teams of scientists at the Georgia Institute of Technology, well, they felt the opposite. They admired how the sloth could stay in one place for most of its day, conserve energy, and yet still be aware of things. So they developed a type of sloth bot to do just that and serve great purposes in the process. For example, one version of the sloth bot is meant to help farmers in their fields because the sloth bot can hang from wires that are already above the fields and thus monitor them without much issue or fear of getting stuck, getting attacked, or burning through energy reserves as it wouldn't be moving too much. Another version is being used in rainforests to monitor other real sloths as well as take measurements of the environment. And just to be clear, these robots can move when needed. They can swing and move down the wires or branches they're on when needed, just like a real sloth. Number 2. Bionic Kangaroo The company known as Festo is rather famous for their repeated creations of robotic animals. In one year, they decided to make a robotic kangaroo, and thus the Bionic Kangaroo was made. This robot, just as it sounds, is meant to move and hop just like a real kangaroo would down in Australia. To that end, they succeeded in reproducing the motion. But why make a robot that can do that? Kangaroos have a very special ability when they jump. They actually recover energy every single time they do it, thus allowing themselves to continue hopping without fear of getting tired quickly. The basis of the bionic kangaroo is to help teach us how this kind of energy recovery can work, and thus use it for other purposes. And just like the real-life version, the bionic kangaroo does indeed recover energy when it jumps. Number 1. Manta Droid at the National University of Singapore, they decided to take their robotics building under the sea 
and made what they called the Manta Droid, a robot that's built to look and swim like the aquatic wonder known as the Manta Ray. And the size of this particular robot actually measures up to most small Manta Rays, as it's about 14 inches long and 25 inches wide. What's more, this robot can move pretty fast. It can propel itself at a rate of two body lengths per second. And like the Manta Ray, it uses its fins to move around freely in the water to ensure that it flows with the water instead of just fighting against it. The university feels that with the proper outfitting, this robot can be used to survey the underwater world and even aid in search and rescue operations under the waves. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these robots based on real life animals? And which one do you think is the most impressive when it comes to the field of robotics? And while we're on the subject, what other animals would you like to see be made into robots? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time.